In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this sunset design similar to allsunsets.com, but you can do it yourself. Let's get started. You want to start by going to File, New, Dimensions is 1920 by 1080. Now go to your Rectangle tool, create a new layer, I named it Color for Simplicity. Now make your rectangle as big, as thick as you want it. Change your foreground color, I'm choose red, we'll go from red to yellow on this one. Okay, edit. Fill with foreground color. Now you want to select none. Layer. Now what you want to do is want to crop this to, con to content. And now duplicate the layer. Grab your move tool. Bring it down a little bit. Select by color. Change your foreground color again to your next lightest color with the fill tool fill it up and repeat duplicate the layer move down and so on so on this I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit for y'all I'll be right back Now that you have all your colors ready, click on your background layer, click your align tool. First make sure you have nothing selected, go to select none, now hold shift and click all your boxes. Now what you want to do is you want to align by center, now you're going to go to distribute, distribute targets evenly. Now I have the offset set to 125, but I want them super close together, so I'm gonna go with 150. That looks good to me. Now go to your move tool. Now what you wanna do is you wanna merge all the layers. So just merge down all the way, everything except your background. Now what I like to do is like to fill the whole background. So scale and Scale to your liking. Like I said, I like to fill the whole background. Try to get that perfect there. Make sure I'm right on that edge. Hit scale. Go to background. Force of, force of habit, I like to center align it. Now go back to your color layer. If you want to go to layer, layer to image size. Now you want to choose your ellipse tool. Make sure you have a fixed ratio of one to one. And just make that as big as you want. I'm going to try to fill up as much as I can. And set it as good as possible. Get as much color in as I can. Now from here, what you want to do is you want to go to select, invert, grab your erase tool, and just start erasing. And what's left is a circled sunset. Now select none. Now file, since I've been working with this a little bit, it's on my recents. I'm going to open the palm trees. I'll have a link to the download in the description. Now I want my eraser because I kind of want to get rid of this shadow. So I'll just erase that. Get rid of that. I don't want a drop shadow on the sunset. You may like it so you can keep it if you want. So now that that's gone, go to my move tool, right click, edit, copy visible. Come back to your sunset, edit, 
paste as new layer and from here scale it down to what you want it scale go to the center that we can move it a little bit bigger looking good that looks pretty good right there so scale now what you want to do is click your colors layer if you want the select by colors click on the outside of your circle now go back to your palm trees get your eraser tool to get rid of these little corners that are hanging out of the circle select none go back to your choose by colors negative select the palm tree select invert click on your circle to get rid of that bottom in your erase tool and erase that bottom to make it a little bit flatter make it uh, with the ground there select none now go back select the palm trees select by color choose the palm trees again now click on your circle get your eraser tool Make it as big as you want and just start erasing. Now what that's gonna do is you're erasing the parts of the circle. So now select none. Now turn off your palm tree layer and your background layer. And there you are.